Girl missing for four days until dad notices strange smell coming from neighbor's garage. It had been a devastating four days and Alex Grimes didn't know how much more he could handle. The last time he saw his daughter, everything seemed fine, but now she was gone. His eyes were swollen and red. The last few days had been traumatizing to say the least. That day, he just wanted to vent. He raised his hand and knocked on the neighbor's door, but he had no idea what he'd find inside. Alex was confused. For the last few months, everything in his life seemed to be going perfectly, but that all changed one tragic day. When he first noticed his daughter's absence, he thought it was nothing to worry about. He assumed Ellie had gone to the park with her best friend, but when she didn't show up for dinner that night, he realized that something was seriously wrong. It was four days later and the search for his daughter was still in full swing. No one had seen her since the day she disappeared and the heavy sadness had consumed the neighborhood they once thought was safe. Alex hadn't slept in days. When his neighbor Jonathan invited him over for a drink and a chance to vent, he decided to take it, but he had no idea what he'd find inside his neighbor's house. The heartbroken father had spent the last few days staring at the walls of his house, praying that someone would come knocking on his door and tell him his daughter was all right, but they never did. He knew he needed a break. That day, he showered for the first time since her disappearance, just to go to Jonathan's house. He was a good man, but Alex had no idea what he was like behind closed doors. Walking up to his front porch steps, Alex raised a hand and knocked on his neighbor's door, hoping to distract himself for a few hours. When Jonathan opened the front door, he was already wearing a sympathetic smile. How's it going, pal? The man said and placed a strong hand on his shoulder. Their daughters were best friends and he hadn't seen Jonathan's daughter Jessica since Ellie's disappearance. But before they stepped into the house, Jonathan moved closer to Alex, his voice hushed. Just don't mention Ellie's disappearance in front of Jessica. We haven't told her yet. We don't want to scare her, Jonathan said. Alex nodded. He understood that this kind of information would be stressful for a seven-year-old girl to hear. I won't mention it, he said. Jonathan moved out of the doorway and let Alex step inside, but as soon as he entered the house, he noticed something. Something inside the house didn't feel right. Jonathan closed the door behind Alex and let him into the house. But as soon as they stepped past the door that led into Jonathan's garage, Alex smelled something terrible, which instantly sent a chill down his spine. Was that what he thought it was? Living in Tacoma, Washington, Alex Grimes thought he lived the perfect life. He was a hardworking engineer who lived in the suburbs with his wife Jennifer and his daughter Ellie. Everything he did, he did for the two special ladies in his life. He always knew he was destined to be a father, and when Ellie was born, he promised to protect her at all costs. But little did he know that one day she would find herself in grave danger. For Alex and Jennifer, safety had always been a priority. When Jennifer fell pregnant and the pair decided to look for a house rather than an apartment, they knew that the suburbs were their best option. In the end, they bought a house in a suburb they adored. It was the kind of neighborhood where everyone knew their neighbors, and Alex instantly knew that it would be perfect for raising a family. As the years passed, the Grimes family grew close to their neighbors, and Alex was overjoyed to see his young daughter grow close to their next-door neighbor's daughter, Jessica. Their neighborhood was so safe that oftentimes kids would be left to play in the park all by themselves. Every house on their street had a clear view of the park, and everyone knew that the parents were watching their children from afar. But one day, their neighborhood was shaken by terrible news. It was a Saturday afternoon like any other. Ellie was playing in the park with her best friend while Alex and Jennifer stayed inside the house preparing a large meal for supper. Have you seen Ellie in the last few hours? Jennifer asked, but Alex wasn't concerned. She usually spent the majority of her weekends in the park anyway. No, but I'm sure she's with Jessica, he shrugged. It wasn't until hours later that Alex made a completely bone-chilling realization. It was nearly dark out and Ellie hadn't returned from the park. I'll go get her, Alex told his wife and headed outside. But his heart dropped when he found the park empty. He knew better than to freak himself out before checking Jessica's house. His daughter often went home with her friends without telling her parents, but he never found his daughter that night. Before Alex knew it, police cars lined their streets. Alex and his wife spoke to some of the officers while others started searching in the park between the houses. They knew the importance of finding her as soon as possible. Neighbors stood in their front porches, their faces twisted in horror. An innocent little girl had vanished and no one had seen any sign of her. They searched until the early morning hours, but no one found any sign of the little girl. It was like she had disappeared into thin air. Alex and Jennifer were devastated. They felt like they let their daughter down in the worst way possible. That night, Alex lay awake in bed. His palms were sweaty and his thoughts were a jumbled mess. He hoped and prayed that they would find her the next day. Alex was wide awake until the sun came up. How was he supposed to sleep when his daughter was out there by herself? Was she even by herself? What if someone had taken her? He didn't even want to think about it. He slowly got out of bed and slipped into the same shirt from the day before. He knew it would be a long day, but he just hoped to have his daughter by that evening. Although tons of search parties were sent out around town, no one found the girl that day or the day after. It was like she truly had just disappeared off the face of the earth. Alex wondered if she was still okay. 
In the blink of an eye, the fourth day rolled round. The last few days had been traumatizing to say the least. The police were still searching, but on that day, Alex received a call. When his neighbor's name, Jonathan, appeared on the small screen, he answered in a heartbeat. Since their daughters were best friends, Alex and Jonathan got on rather well. Hello? He said. Hey, Alex. I know it's been a terrible time. I saw your car in the driveway, and I was just wondering if you wanted to come over for a drink. You could get it off your chest, Jonathan said. At first, Alex didn't know what to do. His wife had been at her mother's house. She couldn't stand to be in the house without Ellie inside of it. Alex had spent the last few days all alone. He hadn't spoken to anyone other than the police. Maybe a drink could help him get his mind off the terrible thing that was unfolding around him. He agreed, stating he'd be over in half an hour. The heartbroken father had spent the last few days staring at the walls of his house, praying that someone would come knocking on his door and tell him that his daughter was all right. But they never did. He knew he needed a break. In that half hour, he showered for the first time since Ellie's disappearance just to go to Jonathan's house. He was a good man, but Alex had no idea what he was like behind closed doors. Alex left his house and he instantly noticed the metaphorical dark cloud that hung over the neighborhood. It no longer felt the same. It was like he could feel the sadness his neighbors felt for him and his wife. He approached his neighbor's house. He just wanted to vent. He raised his hand and knocked on the neighbor's door, but he had no idea what he'd find inside. The door swung open and he was quickly met by Jonathan, who wore a sympathetic smile. The pair exchanged a few words outside. Jonathan mentioned that he hadn't told Jessica about her best friend's disappearance and he couldn't blame Jonathan. He would also shield his daughter from the information if he could. His heart dropped at the thought. Jonathan moved out of the doorway and let Alex step inside, but as soon as he entered the house, he noticed something. Something inside the house just felt weird. As soon as they stepped past the door that led into Jonathan's garage, Alex smelled something terrible which instantly sent a chill down his spine. He paused next to the garage, his blood running cold as he sniffed. The smell was strong and chemical and smelt of paint and cleaning supplies. He couldn't help but feel strange about this. Jonathan kept walking toward the kitchen unaware of his friend's suspicion. He went to grab them a drink while Alex looked around himself, but just then he spotted something truly heartbreaking. Right next to Alex, on a bench, lay the exact jacket his daughter wore the day she went missing. He stumbled backward, astonished by his discovery. Well, did Jonathan have something to do with this? He had to know the truth. He grabbed the jacket and followed Jonathan into the kitchen, holding the jacket up before them. Ellie was wearing this when she went missing. Did you have something to do with it? Tell me. He was starting to freak out, his heart racing at the thought that Jonathan had taken and done something to his daughter. He was terrified for her safety. He needed answers right that second. Jonathan had a shocked expression on his face as he took a step back, his eyes widening as he stared at the jacket in Alex's hand. No, no, I don't know how that got there, I swear. Jonathan said, but Alex didn't believe him. How could his daughter have gone missing in a safe neighborhood like the one they lived in? It didn't make sense. Then what is that smell? It smells chemical like bleach. Did you do something to her? You tell me right now. But he was about to make a discovery. Jonathan still refused, stating that he had nothing to do with his daughter's sudden disappearance, but he didn't believe him. He knew that he was hiding something in the garage. Alex turned hot on his heels and walked back to where he'd come from. He was going to see what was in that garage, whether Jonathan liked it or not. Jonathan followed after him, his words jumbled, but he didn't wait and opened the door. As soon as he opened the door, he couldn't believe his eyes. He cupped his hand over his mouth, his eyes welling with tears. He couldn't believe it. Sat in the middle of the garage were Jessica and Ellie, spray-painting art over long sheets of paper. When Jonathan stepped through the door, he gasped. He had no idea Ellie was inside his house. The fathers demanded an explanation. We were playing in the park and we wanted to have a long sleepover. I thought you would say no, so Jessica hid me in her room and we played every night. Ellie said like it was the most normal thing in the world. It was obvious that the little girl was far too young to understand how serious the situation truly was. Would you mind calling the police and telling them? He asked Jonathan, who nodded, guilty that he hadn't noticed the little girl hiding in his house. Ellie returned home safely, and although Alex was furious about what she'd done, he was over the moon that his daughter was okay. Jennifer returned from her mother's house and together, they worked hard to teach their daughter the consequences of her actions. The neighbors were relieved to learn that the girl was home safe, and in the end everything was alright. But Alex would never forget the last four days. If tales of heartwarming compassion are what you like hearing about, then subscribe to our channel for many more great stories.